Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This report is an end of day report for trading on June the 15th, Wednesday, 2016. Today was the FOMC and they decided to leave rates unchanged. Also hinting to the fact that they won't take a July um, interest rate uh, raise off the table. In other words, it's just as I have been indicating that they cannot raise rates without destroying uh, the economy and the markets along with it. So they will continue to kick the can down the road, so to speak, uh, by saying, yeah, we'll do it next month or we'll do it the next quarter, knowing that they just cannot do it right now. So looking at the U.S. dollar index, you can see it's still flat. Nothing's happening here. They're not going to let it fall, but so much. Um, as far as leaving it uh, strengthening, they're going to do the same thing. So we'll have to wait and see what can uh, come about here next week with the uh, with the Brexit vote. If the pound falls apart, then chances are uh, the dollar will catch a bid, and so we'll have to uh, we'll wait and see uh, how that develops. But right now the market is still strongly supported. All right, looking at crude oil, as you can see, this market came off quite a bit and it's uh, gravitating toward the trend line support of 45.28 and we have a nice weekly support at 43.17 so we will see if this market can overcome or is it going to start to negative pulse wave and we are oversold here as you can see but uh, the overall position still has some uh, drown, downdraft potential because it's an overall bear market. We'll have to wait and see what develops, but uh, right now it looks like a downtrend channel is in the beginning stages of development. Uh, looking at the Nikkei, it did touch the uh, trend line uh, support here for the weekly at 15.654. And the issue that is going to come into play is can this market maintain is it going to catch a bid from here it's uh, still difficult to say it is oversold at this point but if we take out that 15654 then all bets are off so this one is still holding on for dear life it is in a downward channel but it can break out of this channel it wouldn't really take much of a push so we'll see if it's going to leave the other indexes uh, in a direction. All right, looking at gold. Gold is now officially in a positive pulse wave scenario, but we still need that close above 13. It touched it today at 13, even, and 40. Uh, so we need to see if this market is going to get enough power behind it to continue. We are overbought now, but can it lock in? And skyrocket, uh, you know, higher. Right now, it's in a good position, but it is can't ignore the overbought. Uh, we did have a uh, rally alert in the gold and silver this week, so it looks like that rally alert is definitely playing out. Um, so we'll have to continue to see if it can get a push. And last but not least, uh, silver is playing catch up. It did hit 1763. Overhead resistance at 1781 is still in play. Looks like this market is going to try to make at least a play for that. It is overbought right now, and the positioning is such that it wants to linger here and lock in and then break out above 18. So, this is going to be an interesting one uh, to see also can it do it? Does it have enough behind it to even make that happen? So remember, bulls make money, bears make money, and pigs get slaughtered. So remember, take what you can, give nothing back.